I might just record my way back to where I've parked the bike. See how many people are out on the streets. Most of them are gone on their tour. These are some of the buildings that have been ordered to demolish or pull back their frontage onto the sand. Quite a few abandoned buildings here. Um, a lot of these buildings are facing the same fate as most of the buildings and establishments in uh, uh, Boracay. You see this place here, obviously, they don't even have a uh, balustrade or a barrier to pre prevent people from falling over. A bit dangerous in my opinion. I did notice a few buildings further down up here that have actually burnt down. I don't know what happened to them, but two or three buildings right next to each other have actually burnt down. This place here is completely gone. But like most of these holiday destinations, you can guarantee there's always some construction going on. I might just walk down a length of the beach and see how long this camera lasts before it overheats. I have experienced it overheating and just shutting down, so let's just go for a walk and see how far I get. There's the Jare's Grill. Um, I would have recommended that two years ago, but after our meal the other night, yeah, nothing, nothing to write home about. Um, as with a lot, of, a lot of places that you travel to, you might find that they've got good food on your first on your first try. Second try, you'll come back and there's not much there. Uh, we experienced quite a few times. Hello. We've experienced quite a few times when we go to these restaurants. Whenever I order something, they're out of stock. But, I mean, it's something as simple as a mango shake or something like that. And you'd think they'd just run down the road to the closest fruit shop and grab a couple of mangoes. But no, they're out of mangoes. So, beach life. Not much happening there. Hello, sir. Um, this was the restaurant that we came to the other night. That's closed, barricaded up. Um, I do have a sign up here, I'll just show you this, they're cracking down on plastics. So all kinds of plastic, especially bottled water, are no longer allowed to be brought in all boats and tours. So, I don't know how that applies when you've got a tour booked and the guys are bringing bottles with them. Obviously, they don't want you bringing bottles. But they, but they can uh, take bottles over to, the, to certain islands and sell you 100 peso bottles of soft drink for that are 200 mil, which in my opinion is a bit of a rip-off. I mean, I'm paying enough to come here as it is. I don't expect to get ripped off when I want a when I want a, when I want a soft drink. So this is the Yogi Beach pension. That's just completely down, abandoned. This place here just gone, burnt. The back of that Ogi. Ogie Beach Pension, that looks like it suffered some damage from some fire. 
This place here obviously burnt to the ground. This place here looks like that's been ravaged by fire as well. Um, this place here copped a little bit of damage up on the top deck there. So that's the, the cocoa bar. These guys still collecting the rubbish. Well done. Nice to see some people care. Yeah, it's, there's a lot over here. Yeah. It's, from these bars and stuff. A lot of trash from at night time when people are... are they, do you think they're just throwing it out or...? Yeah. yeah. I think so. It's a lot of like, um, like plastic, wrappers, cups, a lot of cigarette butts. Terrible. Um, We've seen the same on the islands. You go to a few, some of the islands and there's just rubbish everywhere. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's terrible. It's nice to see someone doing something. Yeah. And we sure. picked up some stuff on, on the islands there. I've seen cigarette butts floating while I'm snorkeling. I'm sort of trying to grab them. Yeah. Yeah. Every yeah. little bit counts. If everyone did this when they walked over, it yeah. should be a lot cleaner. Exactly. We're, a couple of pieces. Yeah. Like we do that in Australia, you know. We have like Australia clean up day. Yeah. Everyone goes up and just for that one day, the community gets together and cleans up. Yeah. I mean, we have... We have big fines. If you get caught throwing a cigarette butt out the window, you don't even need evidence. You just ring up, report, you end up with a fine in the mail, you've got to go to court. Wow. Like it's, it's really, they're really strict with that in Australia. And over the last 10 years, the place is clean. Everyone, yeah. everyone knows, it's they like yeah. don't yeah. rubbish. Yeah, no, it's good to see. Where are you guys from? US. US? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm from Australia. What's your name? My name's Mark. Mark? Yeah. Emma. Emma? Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Me and well done. Thanks for doing that. Yeah. If you want to check it out. Yeah. Cheers. All right. Thanks, Take guys. Care. Cheers. Have a good one. So there you have it, guys. Mark and Emma from the US doing their part. I've seen them. Uh, you would have seen them earlier on in my video today. It's, they've been walking around for the last two hours just picking up rubbish off the beach and they're saying a lot of this stuff's blowing out from the um, from the hotels here and the, the bars out here and they're saying looks like the tourists are just being a bit a bit careless the one thing I have noticed while I've been here there are no rubbish bins probably hard for the tourists to put rubbish away or dispose of rubbish properly when there's no rubbish bins um, even in the bars, you, you sort of have to ask someone else, oh, excuse me, can you throw this into the, you know, in a rubbish bin for me? It's, it's the same problem they had in Barake. There's no rubbish bins anywhere. So what do you do? A lot of the places you might see like a little box just sitting next to, the, next to an establishment. And everyone just piles their stuff into those boxes. And when the wind blows, it just blows it straight out. So not good. But good to see two individuals just walking up and down the beach, doing their part, keeping the environment clean. Well done, guys. Thanks, thanks for doing that. I appreciate it. So back to, oh, okay, there's the Habibi. I thought it was just at our hotel. I think our hotel has, is the Habib. But this is the Habibi, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, El Nido. I oh, know that's Big Mamas. Not, they don't really have names in these places. Um, this place here. Obviously, there's no one here because everyone's on their tour. This is the Mad Monkey. No, I thought it was the Mad Monkey. That's the Puka, I believe. What's this place? The Puka Bar. Um, we walked past here the other night. Looked like there was quite a few people in there. See this building in there that's probably two meters wide absolutely nothing this place here closed down this is like a little store here aquanaut dive center
establishment here. What's this Tuk Tuk Tay? What's it called? Rico's. Rico's Beach Cottages. So they do have a no smoking policy on the beach. That really doesn't exist. You walk around and everyone's smoking. Um, I don't know how well this microphone's picking up on my um, on the lavalier mic. Hopefully, it's doing better than the uh, Sony mic. Tandikan Beach Cottages here. These are some of the bigger establishments that we tried booking, but just wasn't available. Bit of construction going on up ahead here and it's just peaceful now all you can hear is the waves crashing up on the shore i'm going to walk around got some time i'm going to walk around the cove here we did book our hotel nine months ago the el nest here in el nido and three weeks ago we got notified that the den the denr closed them down uh, I don't know what that place is none of these places have names on the back of them so I'm not sure what they're called but I'm sure if you get on Google Maps and just have a look at the map you can pretty much make out the hotels compared to where I'm walking I think this is the El Nido Guard uh, the El Nido Beach hotel this one here this looks like a new establishment this place here I, I saw some really bad reviews um, people getting overcharged air condition is not working water not working no hot water um, so I'm not sure and I'm really don't understand why they don't have names on the back of these beaches I saw a few videos a couple of months ago where one guy in particular walked past and you could see exposed sewage pipes hanging out I asked him why he removed the video and he sort of just unfortunately I removed the video that's all I got from him so I don't really know why I'm assuming he was told to remove the video because it wasn't really good publicity for El Nido um, this is the El Nido Garden Beach Resort we tried to book here but that was booked fully booked um, you can sort of see some stormwater drains there that obviously flow out into the ocean here and you can accept that storm water is fresh water it's clean rainwater but you can see there's guys riding their bikes along here um, if I was the mayor or in charge of this place I wouldn't allow this because a lot of these old bikes they're leaking oil they're, they're dripping toxins into the sand which in turn end up in the ocean so that's the El Nido Garden Beach Resort there that looked really nice in the pictures I might walk up a little closer just to show you that if I can on the way back but I'm gonna go down around the cove here so as you can see there's a lot of construction going on here obviously they're in the same position as the El Nest they're in their easement easement zone and they doing some demolition like they 
crossing over the easement and they've got to remove part of their wall. So who's with this here? El Nido corner. El Nido corner travelling tours. Reef strand over this way. So let's just go for a walk down this way. I'll put the camera in my other hand and try and put it in the shade because this camera doesn't like direct exposure to the sun. It overheats. What's that? Something shaking. So this is where this is where we would have been taking our transportation to the El Nest. Apparently there's no other way to get to that hotel except this way and there's a few more resorts further down around the corner but this I believe is the only way in so this is where I am at the moment okay the camera's overheating so I'm just going to pull up here for a minute let it cool down and then I'll continue Okay, so we're back after a brief stop, let the camera cool down a bit, swap batteries out, let's continue along this little walk. Um, as you can see here, it's just magnificent views, magnificent. I've actually come from just over there. Well, I was sitting over there near that green building and I've just made my way all the way up to this side and come around. So let's just continue along this way. Never been this way, this way before, so this will be the first time. Might come down here later with the drone when it's a bit calmer. This is truly paradise, guys. this place is or what it's doing here anyone know what this building is leave a comment down below Makuwai Chaparral cottages. I had a look on, um, what was it on Google Maps, and it looked like this the way to the El Nest. You're passing a, uh, yeah, a cemetery. <laughs> My wife was a little bit weary on staying here at the El Nest because we have to walk past this cemetery. Um, this road, you can see it's dusty. It's not rocks, it's just loose sand and a lot of dust. There's no lighting here, obviously at night it can get a little spooky. Makes me wonder why they put a cemetery right on the ocean front here. Uh, At least when they say rest in peace, you're resting in peace, you're in paradise. 
true paradise of El Nido. So that sign says this way to the reef strand. Didn't think it was this far, I just thought it was just around that little cove there, around that corner, but obviously it's further than what I first thought. I mean, there's quite a few hotels down this road, not just the El Nest, but there's quite a few other resorts and hotels that go further down I'm not going all the way I'm just going to go down to the El Nest and just see what they've done to it if I'm lucky I might be able to talk to one of the owners there and just let them know how sorry we are that they made them close because apparently they were just one meter into the easement zone but they were ordered to close not sure what that place is, but I'll keep going here. So there's a little couple of stores here, a couple of starry stores. Now I believe most of the resorts here, they will offer you free transportation if you're going into town. Uh, the El Nest management told me that. So that's one good thing, you don't have to pay to get a ride into town. I'm still sort of walking around here. Oh, there it is, the El Nest Beach Resort. I don't know how I can get down around the back, maybe if I follow this little road. Mm. I'll try and walk around the back. I think there's a pathway up here. Yeah, there is, I think. Yeah, that should take me to the front of the, the El Nest. Let's see what they've done. They said the, uh, they were going to fight this in court, but I've seen some other videos following the first video where they got the order to close, where uh, demolition had already begun. So it looks like going to court was a waste of time. A waste of money. So let's have a look out the front and see what's what's happening. They said something about an easement. They were over the easement. So okay. So I thought there was a path at the front here, but there was no there is no path. Okay, so See a lot of construction on, a lot of construction going on here. Um, that's the room we had booked. This one here on the corner. So it looks like, looks like they've only like lost two meters, like not even one or two meters. That's the pool area there. That's been obviously already. Underway, it's been modified. They've obviously shortened it. So none of the buildings had to come down. Just the um, just the pool and the front deck of this uh, this little villa here. So a bit of a shame. I mean, I don't understand what they're talking about easement. I mean, you don't really get much water coming up here. It's, it is low tide, so. I'm not 100% sure, maybe the water comes up to this level here, or maybe to the front here, so... Looks like they haven't suffered much damage, but the main thing is they've lost, they've lost business, they've had to cancel all their 
all their guests. This place here doesn't look like they've really had to do much. This wall looks like it's still in the same position as it was. There doesn't seem to be any modification here. And you can see the hotels that go all the way down to where that boat is. Still a few resorts up there. That breeze is beautiful. Starting to sweat just a minute ago, but now it's got a nice cool breeze. So I might head on back now and go and check up on the wife. You have to take this down? Yes, to, to where? To here? That's crazy. We had a booking here and uh, we had to cancel. What, it's just what, one, two meters, that's all. Crazy. The DNR. Yeah, a lot of money you lose. Did you, did you have to close? Did you have to close the resort? No, no, no. This place, they had to close the resort. Yeah, the, before the, the government... Uh, they closed them down. Uh, they lose, they spend money now, they lose customers. Mm -hmm, yes, yes. I booked here nine months ago. Mm, nine months ago. Nine months ago I booked and three weeks ago they sent me an email. Sorry, we have to cancel. Not happy. This nice place here, but on high tide, where does the water come? To the wall? The, uh, the highest tide. Sir. The highest tide comes to the wall. Yeah. The wall, yeah. Okay. Especially at the month of December, January, up to February. So you get the full tide up to the wall here. Mm, oh wow. Okay. The easement, yeah. So this place here, they already, what, chopped two meters? Yeah, so the bigger end. Uh, they were further out, were they? Yeah? Okay. Hmm. All right. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so apparently the El Nest here was like out to here. Looked like they had a two, three meter overhang to the easement and they got shut down, whereas this place that I just talked to the gentleman they haven't been ordered to shut down um, they've they're only like about two meters yeah they just have to chop this bit of the wall down that they don't really have any much work to do to the pool but the El nest was actually hanging out three four meters and they were all told back in April of 2018 that they had to do the remedy to fix the the problem that they faced and they they ignored it a lot of the places just wait till the last minute and in the last minute when the DENR comes in with that closure notice it's game over um, for some reason the resort on my left they weren't ordered to close but the El Nest on my right they were actually told and they were given an order to close completely and I feel sorry for them because they lose customers. I don't know how long this will take to, to fix, but it's already been three, nearly four weeks now since they got that order to close. And when you got 20 odd rooms, um, it wasn't cheap too. Uh, the accommodation here that we had at the LNS, we had a seven day accommodation, which was roughly about a thousand 800 for the seven days and you can imagine the other customers 20 or 30 rooms it adds up so when you're closed this place here 
don't know what this place is. Oh no, this is the nest. Oh, this is part of the nest El Nido as well, but there's not much here. It's just like a work. I'm not sure what this place is, but they're closed as well. So that's the nest El Nido. A bit disappointing that they had to close, but when you don't do the right thing, you pay the price. So I'm going to walk on back now to the hotel or back to my bike and um, I'll see you when I get back in the hotel. Actually while I'm here I think this place has had a bit of a renovation here too. You can see the concrete there where, they've, where they used to be. And that's a new fence here. You can see they've obviously been modified as well. I'm sure all of these places are the whole length of the beach if anyone was sticking out further then say this black pipe they all had to chop chop back their buildings so yeah you can see this sign's new this building is new and you can see here I think about here see the wall here where the wall of this used to come out to. The Rio's been ripped out. So I think everyone used to be up like along this line here and now everyone's been moved back. You can see that building there. You can see the front of the concrete that's already been demolished. All the buildings look like they've lost four or five meters of their property line. Even this place here, this place has a new fence. I believe these hotels along here, they had a little bit more protruding, but they've also been chopped back. You can see new concrete work there. Morning. Morning. Oh, I already organised tours. I already have something. Today's my free day, just walking around. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Where are you from? Australia. Wow. Australia. Sydney. Melbourne. Queensland. Melbourne. Ah, okay. These buildings, did they lose their front? Sir? Their buildings, did they, the DNR, they chopped yeah, yeah, them yeah. back? Because uh, lately here. Is that where it was before, here? Yeah, yeah, before here. And they, what, what was here? Just uh, like a terrace, a deck? Yeah. And they had to chop back. Yeah. Some places here, even more. Because uh, the government... Uh, yeah. The easement. Yeah, yeah. So on high tide, where's the water come? To here? Yeah, to here. To the wall, yeah? Yeah. Wow. That's right here, you see? To there. It's wet, it's still wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Salamat. Enjoy your nation. Thank you. Okay, so even here you can see where the, where the existing bits of concrete were. And I think this just used to be like a deck, the bottom of this, uh, the bottom of the establishments here was actually sticking out to there. And they've been told, cut it back or we're going to cut you back and close you down. So they've all done the right thing. I don't want to risk closing. I mean, this place here, they're still building this place. That's not bad for them. Some of the other places were already back to the required lengths. Some of the other owners were just overstepping it a little bit. So the government's come down. They've done the same thing in Burakay. And they're going to do this in other places such as Koron, Sharagal, and the other tourist destinations where some of the locals, some of the corporations, the businesses, they tend to just build wherever they want. They overstep their permits. And then later on down the track, they get told to shut down, move it or lose it. Whew. It's hard work walking around in the sun. We'll put some uh, suntan lotion on. But, um, 
past nine. It's uh, what's that? That's 11:30 now. So I've been out here for two hours. I think it's time for a drink. I'm going to go and try and find Uncle Jack and have a have a drink before I head back to the to the hotel. So join me as I look for Uncle Jack. out of the uh, El Dave. Uh, met a really nice guy there, German guy named Bernie. As like as in uh, weekend at Bernie's. Had a had a Jack Daniels with him. He was telling me I need to go to the police station and report that stolen camera just in case they have any other reports of the same sort of shenanigans going on with that tour. I'm gonna go get on the bike and just drive past that tour operator just to make sure I've got his name. And I'm gonna go inside and mention it to them that I'm really upset. And that I'm gonna go to the police station and report them that I feel the, the camera was stolen. So let's go and take care of that business. Okay, so we've just come out of the police station. Who turned my bike around? Someone's turned the bike around. All right, we've just come out of the police station. We've reported these guys, and there's not much that can happen. The only thing I just wanted to make these guys aware, if they get reported again, then obviously they're up to some shenanigans. If they never get another report, then nothing happened. Every, everything's good. Must have just The guys must have accidentally dropped it in the water when they moved my life jacket, so... All right, we've sorted that out. Let's go back to the hotel. I'm thirsty. Time for another jack. All right, guys, it's dinner time. Uh, we're going to go out for a bit of a ride, go into town, check out a couple of restaurants, and uh, we'll decide when we get there. I'm, hard, I'm starving. So is the wife. So let's go out and get something to eat. See you there. Alright guys, so we've come to this uh, little burger place here. Made up burgers, cheese steaks, sausage and craft beer. Just a little um, burger shop just here. Down the main down the main strip. Um Chare's grills just around the corner there and the beach is 20 metres down the end of that street. The art cafe is just down that way, so we're just here on the corner. My wife's ordered the cheesesteak. The cheesesteak sandwich. She's really enjoying that. The bread's beautiful, crispy, um, pan fried beef with bell peppers and uh, caramelised onion and the cheddar cheese. She's loving that. And I've ordered the the quarter pounder burger, the quarter pounder burger with chilies, cheddar, cheese, sauce, egg, bacon, quarter pounder patty, looking tasty. So let's get into this. Is this your business? Nope. No. No. Just working. You just work here. Who owns the business, Filipino? Uh, half Filipino, half British, I guess, or no, American. Here you go, sir. Work Thank you here. very much. You work here all the time, or? Yeah, all yeah. the time. What, five days, six days, seven days a week? Um, seven days sometimes, sometimes seven days. six days. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Richard. Richard? Richard. Uh, he makes really good hamburgers at this place. And the chef, what's your name? Yeah. JR. JR? Yeah. He's the chef. <laughs> he just whipped up some really nice hamburgers and the cheese steak. We've ordered another one. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you, brother. All right, so we've just smashed down that burger and that cheese steak burger. What that? Is it? 
cheesesteak sandwich. That was that nice. We're getting another one each, so just wait up a second till we finish this. All right, guys. We've just finished our. I finished my two burgers. <laughs> the wife's finished her two cheesesteak sandwiches. And we've just come to sticks and cones for some ice cream. We're just down the road from the burger shop. So, <clears throat> we're just going to walk down, finish our ice creams and Melt in my mouth. High tide. No, oh, it's beautiful. Got some really nice homemade ice creams there. Sorry. Dripping everywhere. A lot of people out tonight. As always, here in El Nido. Mm. All right, we're just going to make our way back to the bike and go back to the hotel. A bit tired today. Filipinos love the camera. Never shy to say hello. Ice cream on my mouth, all over the place. <clears throat> nice warm night tonight. Got a nice breeze blowing. Just perfect for a night's nice walk. We're just going to walk around maybe a little bit longer and then head on back to the hotel. So we'll catch you there and we'll close this one out. And we are back in our room. So that's it for today, guys. <clears throat> We're just going to chill out, hit the sack. It's just after 10, it's about 10 30. Uh, we just had an awesome burger and uh, cheese steak sandwich. It might not be for everyone, if you don't mind a bit of a oily sort of a burger, it might not be for you. But if you're into hamburgers and a little bit of oily oiliness with the egg, the bacon, the cheese and all that, then you'll like this place. Um, I recommend it. Um, like I've said before, to get a 10 from me is pretty rare. And unfortunately on this night, they're not going to get a 10. Probably close to a 9. Um, uh, it was good, that's why I ordered the second one. The wife liked the cheese, steak, the cheese steak sandwich, so she ordered a second one as well. Um, they were out of fries, so I couldn't taste the fries, and I uh, didn't have soft drinks. They must have had a really busy day. The guy said, you know, we, we, we've run out, sorry, but that was okay. I just went two doors up, got some soft drinks, had a beer from there, brought that back, no problems there. And then we went across the road to get one of those, uh, like a homemade ice cream. Again, beautiful. Um, probably give it a, a, a nine. Uh, it was nice. The chocolate, probably, will it, probably a little bit, I don't know, on the dark side of things. I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate, but all in all, beautiful homemade ice creams. The uh, wife got the coconut, homemade coconut one. She liked that. Beautiful. Uh, she gave that a nine as well. Um, so there you have it, an eventful day. We witnessed a, uh, a rescue at Nakban Beach. The guy apparently got caught in the rip and if it wasn't for the brave souls down at the beach, the lifeguards, not only the lifeguards but some of the locals chipped in that sort of hang around to get it down the beach. They, they, 
I've never seen anyone move so fast in my life. They all got into it. They, you know, got out there as fast as they could. They held on to the guy. They sort of moved out in, out along with the rip until it, until it eased off a bit. And then they sort of slowly made their way, but they all got together in a chain link, managed to get a, a some sort of life preserver attached to a rope. They got that to the one of the guys who was holding the other guys and they managed to drag the guy in. So a life safe today. Um, I did upload a video showing that and I mentioned that a guy, I think we, we wasn't 100% sure. The wife heard something about some guy dying or drowning about a week ago, but I asked around and they said, no, that's not true. But a female, a Chinese female uh, passed away there. She got caught in a rip and she drowned, unfortunately. That was last year in August. So um, be very careful, guys. The rips here are really strong. And if you don't know how to handle them, you're gonna get in some serious trouble. Worst case scenario you'll be going back in the body bag. So be careful. Be very careful. Listen to what the guys will tell you. They're not saying it for fun. If there's something wrong, if there's a big riptide there or a rip current, however you want to call it, they will tell you about it. So just be careful. Be very careful. It is, it's not a surf beach, but some of the waves can get pretty, pretty savage. Um, they're not breaking out far, they're near the shore, um, so the sand, it churns up the sand, and if you get caught up and start tumbling around in that, again, you might get a lung full of sandy salt water. Um, so that's it guys, uh, if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up, I did go for a walk down along the main beach there, I went all the way around to the other, to around the corner, checked out this hotel that we were going to stay in, but they cancelled on us. And then I came back along there, went in, had a had a bit of a chat with one of the guys in one of the bars there, and he told me to go and report what happened yesterday to the police. I did that, I reported it to the police, I reported it to the travel agency, and I reported it to the hotel. So if that something like that happens to you, don't be scared, do it. Go and report it to the police, because if they don't get a report, these guys continue to do it. I'm not saying that they did, but if they did, they need to be reported. Um, if they did, then I strongly believe in karma. Karma's a bitch and it'll get you one day. But if you didn't, I'm sorry for accusing you. Um, might have just been flipped into the water accidentally. Either way, I want to report it. If it does happen, then these guys will get a bad name against their their business. I'm not going to name them um, on, you, on YouTube. I did say I'll list their details below, but I won't do that for now. I'll just leave it and hopefully no one it doesn't happen to anyone else and everything returns back to normal so that's our day um, I might have another drink before I um, settle in for the night I've got to upload the rest of the videos off this camera onto the hard drive and um, yeah call it a night so thanks for watching um, if you're not subscribed click that, uh, that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, make sure the notification bell is clicked. That way you are uploaded each time. That way you are notified each time I upload a new video. So once again, thanks for watching. Be cool. Peace out.